I often have parents ask me the question, what are some common mistakes that new writers make when they join your classes? So I'm going to deal with one of them today, and that is new writers often mistake a word that ends in L-Y, that's an adjective, for an adverb that ends in L-Y. So today I'm going to give you three things that you can help your student use to find an adverb and know for sure that they have one. But before I give you the answer to that, make sure you hit like. It helps push this content to other parents who are wanting their students to become better writers. Hit subscribe as well so that I can grow my channel and reach more parents just like you. And don't forget to hit the notification bell because that makes sure that you know when I'm posting new content that is helpful for parents. All right, let's dive right in. Number one, if your student has identified a word that ends in L-Y and they're not sure <laughs> that it's an adverb, you can give them this question. What does this, does this word ending in L-Y tell us more about? If it's a noun, generally you have an adjective, obviously, because adjectives describe nouns. Here's an example. The friendly dwarf granted their wish. Friendly is telling us more about dwarf. Although it ends in L-Y, it's, it's an adjective, all right? Now, here's another question, question number two. Does this word ending in L-Y answer the question how an action is being performed? Let's use that, that sentence from, from before. The friendly dwarf granted their wish. Does this tell us how the dwarf granted their wish or is it telling us about the dwarf? We've already established it's telling us about the dwarf. So here's another example. The dwarf kindly granted their wish. Now, that word kindly is telling us how the wish was granted. How? Kindly. So that's the second question. The third thing that you can give your student to help them know for sure that they have an L-Y, um, a word that's ending in L-Y that's an adverb is if they take the L-Y off of the word, they should be left with an adjective. This will work for most adverbs, not all of them, but for example, kindly, if you take off the L-Y, you're left with the adjective kind. Um, quietly, if you take off the L-Y, you're left with the adjective quiet. Uh, well, as opposed to friendly, if you take the L-Y off, it's actually a noun. So, oh, that is not an adverb. And that is one way you can figure that out or distinguish between the two. Okay, so let's recap. Here are the three questions. You ask your student to look at the word and say, or ask themselves, what is this word ending in L-Y telling us more about? And if it's a noun, they found an imposter. It's an adjective instead. So it needs to be describing generally a verb. It can also describe an adjective or another adverb in order to be identified as an adverb. All right. The second question is, is this word ending in L-Y answering for the reader how an action is being performed? If so, ding, ding, you've got an adverb. And last but not least, you can help your student know for sure they have an adverb. If they take the L-Y off of the word, you can ask, are you left with an adjective? And if you are, then ding, 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 you have an adverb. I hope this has been helpful to you. And if so, again, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell so that you can be notified when I post new videos. And if you need to find me, just look me up at IEW with Mrs. Brown at homeschoolclick.com. Take care.